And welcome back, everybody. A little more Old Republic. A little more smuggling. Alrighty. Where are we? We're off. We can hide the hints. Because I already know what I'm doing. I'm kind of a pro like that. And I figure while I run, I uh, thought of an interesting point here. A lot of people are complaining about the graphics of this game. That the graphics don't look that great. The graphics look like horrible. Heard even comparisons that they look like something from the, uh, you know, PlayStation era or Nintendo 64. Clearly people who have never played either, and I think I brought this up before. But also think, folks, who plays MMORPGs for the graphics? How much sense does that make? <laughs> uh, let me talk to this guy and I'll I conclude do. my point. Private Westner, 31st Recon out of Fort Garnick. Watch your head out there. Separatists deployed snipers in the area last week. Good snipers. Good snipers. Plenty of casualties between here and Fort Garnick. Those seps will shoot at anything. I recommend an airstrike. Set the place on fire. Not an option. Too many civilians in the area. The refugees from all the war-torn settlements. Oh. They pass through on their way to the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Boom. <laughs> Sniper bait. I might be able to do something. We'll take any gun we can get. Fort Garnick wants those snipers retired ASAP. Commander Vray even offered a week's pay to anyone who makes it happen. It's worth a shot. It'll be a pleasure to watch, ma'am. If you take out the snipers, report to Commander Vray at the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Good hunting. Concluding my thought about why it's somewhat silly to uh, judge an MMORPG on graphics, first of all, these aren't bad. Uh, Alright, I mean, if these are bad, I have a feeling that a majority of the people bitching about the graphics on this game probably don't even have computers that can run great graphic games and have been a little bit spoiled by the consoles. Which, alright, fine, I'll, I'll even accept that. You play MMORPGs for the people. Th that's, that's why we play these games. Y you play them for the people. Right? I, I, I mean, MMORPGs without people suck. Oh god, my covering is... Uh... But I if you play an MMORPG for the people, wouldn't it make sense to have as many people as possible able to play it? And... and I, I don't know. I mean, uh, yes, these aren't Modern Warfare 2 awesome, oh my god, great graphics, but they're really not bad. I kind of thought of them as, you know, uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, uh... 2.5-ish. 3, even, maybe. You know, it, it's kind of what it is. <laughs> so I, I, I just think that people are a little bit too harsh on one of the uh, most uh, under-needed issues of a uh, MMORPG. The people are what make the game. Um, to me, more than anything else, an MMORPG without the people really isn't worth playing. Uh, that's that's what we call RPGs. So, uh, I don't know. I, I would think that making it accessible to as many people as possible, any of you who have played MMORPGs have probably made some great, great friends in them and have incredible memories of them. Do you have incredible memories of the graphics? Or was it the people that you played with? And what if the person that you played with didn't have a system that could run that game? So obviously I'm not, you know, it's not about making stick figures walk across the screen. But th these aren't bad. I, I just think people need something to complain about. And so, well, granted it's the internet. And people are going to bitch because that's what people do. I mean, is it perfect? Uh, obviously not. But... Hell, for my money, this looks like a great game. And unfortunately, um, because you're seeing the beta of it here, you're really not getting a full taste of what this game can be. Uh, you know, I've done a couple group stuff, and I, I had a blast with it. I made some great friends, and we chatted for a while. Uh, thankfully, on my Jedi, no one has recognized Togoth. Um, which I actually prefer. 
Uh, it, it's actually kind of nicer when, you know, I, I don't get like, Oh my god, you're that Toga! Yeah. Yeah. Hi. But, uh, not to say it's not neat to meet people in that sense, but uh, I kind of prefer people to get to know me without having like this starstruck thing. And to be honest, I'm really not even that big or famous or anything, but... I mean, I guess that's my two cents on the graphics of this. Uh, just reading posts that people write, I think people are a little bit too caught up in the graphics and not caught up in what makes an MMORPG great. No MMORPG has ever succeeded because it's had great graphics. Y you can't name one. An MMORPG succeeds because of the people that play it. Um, now, how do you attract those people to play, and how do you keep those people playing? Well, that's, that's kind of different. Those are things you need to look at. But uh, as far as what makes an MMORPG great, it's the people. How about you, baby? Yes, I'm going to. Do you love making friends? I wouldn't mind meeting some like-minded individuals to maybe discuss some wholly legitimate business practices. Yes. Uh, oh, you know what? People are complaining about no music, really, and I did turn that up now. Okay. So, that'll come in and out. Um, another thing of comments and kind of response to them. Where the hell are you? Do oh, there you are. Hey, brother! <coughs> Sorry, folks, I meant to hit the mute there and I didn't in time. Right, let's go with our aim. Uh, oh, the uh, spaceship thing. A lot of people are complaining that, you know, it looks kind of boring, doesn't look fun. Understand that that in video gaming is what we call a mini game, it's, it's not the game itself. Um. The way that I saw it being used most often, how many times in an MMORPG that you've played have you sat around waiting for a raid to start? You know, your raid starts at 6 p.m., you log in at 5 p.m., hey everybody, what's up, people are farming, but you're pretty much ready to go. Wouldn't it be kind of cool just to have a little fun mini game to kill some time with? I, I could be wrong, but, you know. Alright, Blaster Whip. There we go. Thermal grenade. Oh, thermal grenade. And I'm also going to set up my uh, second. Oh, shoot. Did I walk away from a quest there? Yes. Um, but I think that was the original intent of it. it. It's not part of this game, so to speak. It's more, you know, you're, you're not forced to do it as far as I'm aware. It's more or less just something kind of fun. Oh, lucky shot that I'm using. Uh, that's that's how I kind of viewed it, was it was just a fun little side thing. So I know I'm, I'm kind of zealously defending this game, and I, I really don't need to. But, uh, general enhancement, I wonder, can I... Uh, let me just check something really quick. Okay, so I still don't need to use the general enhancement station. Um, this is where you would do what I just did. So that's where I could check it. I'm not sure if just for the beta, if that's been removed to make things easier or not, uh, I couldn't tell you. That's what it used to have to be, so. But as I said, I'm kind of defending the game, so to speak, but I really think you just have to play it. And a lot of people are, I know, are going to be furious this weekend because they got into the beta on stress testing. And don't understand that stress testing means that, you know, it, they're stressing the servers. They want to overload and crash the servers. So you don't make a ton of servers for stress testing. You want to see how much the servers can handle before they explode. That, that's what a stress test. So uh, hopefully this weekend, though, we won't have three-hour queues, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Welcome, Captain. I'm Vidu. Corso told me we've had a rough day. How about a drink to wash away our worries? Here's a toast to my favorite things. 
The best collection of artworks and exotic beverages in the whole system. And here's to the stupid separatists who destroyed it all. Between them and that backstabber Skavik, I am thoroughly ruined. Oh, no. <laughs> Do I get a drink the too? The blaster Skavik stole in your ship belonged to Rogan the Butcher. As employers go, he's not the most forgiving. That's a tough break. I'm sorry. Feel sorry for yourself. I'm working for him, but you're working for me. He'll blame us equally for this mess. He's killed enough people to fill a convoy of bulk freighters, and now we've crossed him. Rogan bought those blasters to protect his business from separatists. When he finds out what's happened, guess who dies first? The only you? way we're getting out of this alive is finding Skavik, your ship, and those stolen blasters. I've got an idea of where to start looking for Skavik. There's a guy named Reiki who's an expert on separatists. Problem is, Reiki's stuck behind a Republic blockade. Troops have his village surrounded while they contain the separatists there. I'll bust Reiki out of that village. Can't be that hard. Forget about a rescue mission. We don't have time. I'm friendly with the Republic commander in charge of the blockade. I can get you in and out of the village. But you'll have to earn that free pass by taking out a few separatists to prove your loyalty. You up for that? What am I going to prove by shooting separatists? That you're not one of them. The Republic isn't letting any separatist sympathizers out of that place. Riki's village is running out of basic supplies thanks to the Republic blockade. Things are getting desperate in there. I'll pull together a survival kit. You smuggle it to Reiki, and he'll tell you a way to find Skavik. Reiki's at a hideout in Taloran village. I'll send a message so he knows you're coming. Cool. So a little commendation badge. Oh, and uh, actually the, that requires level 7, so never mind on that. Uh, once you use an enhancement, at least for now, again, this might be just because it's beta and they're testing things, etc. I, I don't know. Uh, at least for now, I, you can rip things out when you're done. So, like, I could rip this crystal out. Uh, forbidden to dark one and above. Yeah. This is an issue to me. Um, the alignment system is horrible. If I have one major criticism for this game and, you know major that it really hurts my experience in the game is the dark light alignment system. I can't remember if I brought it up or not before, but my uh, I absolutely hate it. So while we're out killing separatists, I'll, uh, I'll talk about my big, big problem with that. Let's see what Herd has to say. Soldier! Soldier! Yes. Uh, no, no. Oh, you're a sieve. Well, still, Hi. I can use all the help I can get if you're interested in work. We might reach an agreement. I'm always interested in working, if you're interested in paying. The Republic's authorized hazard pay to anyone who'll help. We got lots of money, but we're short on personnel. How does that sound? That sounds like sounds a deal. Sounds like you've just found the person for your mission. Glad to hear it. You look like a professional. We need that. One of my boys dozed off on guard duty last night. Let the fort stock of medicine get stolen. If we don't get that medicine back, the good Republic soldiers are gonna leave Ord Mantell in body bags. Any idea who took the medicine? Sleepyhead claims he woke up as the thief was making her escape. Only saw the back of her, but she looked like a Cathar. The Cathar are aliens, sort of cat people that live nearby. Some were driven out of their homes from the fighting. The refugee camp is a good place to start. Please hurry. Good soldiers' lives depend on this medicine. We also have to... Do, 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 do. That's the battle victory music. But level up! Let's go do that. Oh, and a dirty kick. <laughs> dirty kick is freaking awesome. What, what actually is the thermal grenade? Um... There's a thermal bed. Interesting. Okay. Uh, as I said, I, I want a little bit of time more to discuss the alignment system of this game and why uh, why it needs to go. Or if not go, it should not affect what items you collect. 
again, if I'm if I'm repeating myself, I, I apologize. As many of you know, I never repeat myself at all. So. Uh <laughs> I'm sorry, Riso. I don't have any medicine for you today. It hurts. I know, Ooh. but there's nothing I can do right now. I'm sorry, honey. Hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. It's just crazy around here right now. What brings you to the camp? Someone stole some medicine. I'm looking for the thief. Oh, the sleeping guard must have sent you. Yeah, I saw the guard sleeping at his post, and I took the medicine too. It's no use trying to cover it up. See, I took the supplies to help the refugees. More and more of them are dying every day. The Republic won't help. So when I saw the guard sleeping, I helped myself. But then the Separatists took the medicine from me. Now they have it, and we don't. So here's the deal. You agree to bring the supplies to me so I can give them to the refugees, and I'll tell you which way the Separatists went. Unless, of course, you'd rather the Separatists keep the medicine. You haven't got the guts. This isn't a game. Not the best voice I'm acting serious. there. I'm tired of being bullied because I don't carry a gun. If the war doesn't drive people out of their homes, the soldiers come and extort money out of them. Sometimes, someone's driven out of here only to be robbed. Taxed, they call it, on the way here. But they won't suffer for lack of medicine. Not if so, I can help it. So, here's the interesting part that I find here. This is light side, dark side, where you know you can get either one. What about compromise and reason? Hey, if these soldiers don't get the medicine, there's less soldiers to defend you all. The Separatists could come in and kill you all. So yes, while I believe that helping out the child might be important, understand that that child could be in trouble. Nope, you have a choice of, okay, you win, we'll give the medicine to them. We'll give the medicine to these people or not. This is where the alignment can make a big issue. I'll bring you the medicine. Sorry for the guilt trip. But I hope you realize you're doing the right thing. Riso here, at least, will be grateful. The Separatists fled to Talaran Village. Please hurry. There are people here in critical condition. Hang tight. I'll be back soon. So, without Good. the threat and the child I there, it arrival. makes the light side, dark Thank side you. thing a little bit more blurred. So, you imagine that we get rid of the threat and the child there, and that's a that's kind of a blurry option, right? Oh no. Where is it? Oh no. What am I going to do? What? Oh, what? It was terrible. The Separatists came to Talaran village in the night and drove us out of our homes. We had to leave everything behind. We lost it all. That's a tough break. I'm sorry. Thank you for your sympathy. I won't ever get my home back, I know that. But when I fled, I left behind an heirloom that belonged to my great-grandmother. Please, I've lost my home. I've lost everything. But if one day... I I do manage to get off this planet. I just want to take this one thing. You will get the necklace for me, won't you? We'll see. My schedule is pretty tight. Oh, thank see, you. Thank you. I hate that answer. Oh, I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you. Dialogue wheel was I can't guarantee anything. Honestly, I I don't know if I can recover this necklace. Uh Who knows if it's been taken? Who knows if it's been stolen? That's what I was leaning today. towards. Not, hey, I don't know, I'm kind of too busy for your issues. I don't, so, I don't like the dialogue wheel. That's one major criticism I have. Two better pull their weights. They'll learn. If they want to eat, they'll learn. Um, why I hate the alignment system. Here's what it comes down to. So that choice could be a little blurry if you get rid of the threat and the child thing in there. Where it makes a big difference is if you want to make storytelling a key element of this game, which I believe that, you know, that's what they're going for, that's what Bioware has said on multiple occasions, that storytelling should be a key element of the game. You can't have alignment-based items that are good. And on my Jedi, who I'm playing kind of evil, I found good alignment-based items. You know, I found a lightsaber that I would have loved to use, but couldn't because it was light side only. Which really sucks. But here's where it becomes more and more difficult. Some of those morally gray questions, you have to side with the alignment system. So you, you start to lose one of the great parts of storytelling, the moral choices, 
because you have to follow what they say, basically. Well, that's kind of cool. But, uh, I guess when we return, I'll begin this quest. As always, folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, folks.